get my shoes and out the door. Five, I'm alive. Six, seven, eight, feeling great. Hello and welcome back to Beyond Your Wildest Genes podcast. My name is Dr. Noah DeCoyer and I am your co-host. Today our guest is Dr. Matt Hubbard. Dr. Matt is a chiropractor, business coach, author, and political leader committed to making an impact, making a stand, and making a difference. A leader committed to building a healthier future. He is a speaker, consultant, and author for the National Health and Wellness Bureau, United Doctors for Wellness, The Family Practice, Mortar Health Systems, World Chiropractic Alliance, United Doctors for Wellness, San Diego Chiropractor, California Chiropractic Association, and Chiropractic Economics. Dr. Matt is also the immediate past president of the California Chiropractic Association. <clears throat> Hello, Matthew, my friend. Hello, how are you? And good morning. Great, great. Good morning to you. Uh, thanks for being on the podcast today. Got to tell you, last time I saw you, we were in Hoboken and you adjusted my older son, Hayden, and he talks about it all the time. You really turned his power on. That's so awesome. I actually remember that. What a great kid, man. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. But uh, Matt, uh, we like to start off every um, interview with uh, just a little personal, something about you. Tell us a little bit about your journey. Oh, my journey? That's not a little question. All right. Let, let's. All right. So then let's do the uh, Cliff Notes version. Yeah, the Cliff Notes version. Yeah. I was born 41 years ago. <laughs> I had my... Uh, Bell rung when I was 18 years old when my brother got his first adjustment and it changed my life watching him have a little chiropractic miracle. And it changed my whole field, my whole direction, my passion, my certainty. Uh, and uh, man, graduated in 2001 from chiropractic college, opened my own practice in 04. And it's been like drinking out of a fire hose since 04. Never a dull moment, never boring. I've never not wanted to jump out of bed and jammed in my office and uh, now fast forward, married 10 years, two kids, and hopefully my wife's going to give a couple more up so I can uh, have a flock. And, uh, you know, I don't know. It's never been boring since. I just wake up passionate about uh, seeing what I can find out what the new miracle is going to be for the day, you know? So it's a lifelong journey. I agree. And that's a beautiful story. Now, because there's going to be some people that have terrible misconceptions on chiropractic. When you meet a new patient or someone on the street and you want to explain chiropractic to them, how do you do it? Uh, yeah, it's, it's never the same because if I meet someone that understands, uh, you, know, electri you know, I tell people I'm an electrician all the time. <laughs> you know, they go, you're an electrician? I thought someone just called you Dr. Matt. I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm an electrician of the nervous system. And I turn people's power on and I get them uh, rewired the right way so their body can heal the way it was designed to. You know, if, I'm a, if someone has anything to do with plumbing, I'll be like, man, I'm like a plumber. I just unclog the junk and get the, you know, get stuff flowing the way it should be. If they're into computers. I tell people, listen, I get in and I reprogram the software. And if they need some new hardware, I do the best I can to help with the hardware as well. So, you know, I, have, I never get stuck into one line of who I'm trying to communicate with. Man, if it's a billionaire, I said, hey, you want to stick around and use all that money? You need to find a good chiropractor that believes in proactive preventative wellness care that can change your life and your destiny forever so you can use all that money. <laughs> so, you know, I always try to be a great communicator of people, not just stuck into uh, – one thing, hey man, I am a chiropractor, looks for subluxations and unlocks and corrects and detects and changes your life. You know, but I'll do whatever it takes to communicate the power of chiropractic because it changed my brother's life. He got one adjustment. He's never had asthma since. Now he serves in the U.S. Navy as one of the most highly decorated intel officers. And I'm very proud of him because he wouldn't be able to get in to what he's doing when you have a medical record like, you know, 12 Bibles thick of stuff you've been through your first 16 years of life. So they vetted him through everything. And all he has to do is say, yep, chiropractic adjustment changed my life. Matter of fact, if he wasn't in the Navy or when he retires, he's going to chiropractic college. That's how powerfully it impacted him. Great. So you're meeting people where they're at. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Now, uh, the reason why I reached out to you primarily is because a new endeavor that you've taken up on um, – call yourself a hope dealer and you created these things called mind mastery cards fill us in yeah yeah so i have just been fat the first book that ever rang my bell if you will 
I was in chiropractic school and I read the Napoleon Hill Law of Success. I mean, this thing was so thick. And basically, I don't even need to read the book that thick because there's one thing it says, the power of positive thinking. And then, but I didn't even know the science behind it. You know, this is back in 97, 98. I just said, man, if it's good enough for Napoleon Hill, why shouldn't I do it? If it's good enough for all these really successful people to be positive, why shouldn't I try to be the most positive person? And it actually, it's funny now, people say you're so positive, it rubs people the wrong way. Um, I don't know how that's possible. But then now, let's fast forward. Bruce Lipton, who's a PhD in biology, wrote this book 15 years ago on the biology of belief. And it was unleashing the power of consciousness and matter and miracles and mindset. And that's what it had to do with. And it was the science of what you think about, you bring about. Not the philosophy, not the, you know, it was a science. And I read that book and it changed my life on top of it. It was the validation for what Napoleon Hill and Og Mandino and all these positive power thinkers, Tony Robbins even, he started breaking it down scientifically what your brain does. Now, he was so far ahead of his time that it wigged people out and he was totally blasted by the science community. That was 15 years ago. Well, guess what? Now he's looked upon as one of the foremost authorities in thought and quantum physics and neurological physiology. So now I'm going, oh, wow. This guy was an outcast, like a lot of chiropractors, because they're standing on a truth that not science could validate. But now science is validating everything that chiropractic was founded off, especially the tonal model. And this is what this guy went through. And now, like Dr. Carolyn Leaf, she wrote a book just recently in the last year called Switch on Your Brain. And it's the key to peak happiness, thinking, and health. It's the tw- she gives a 21-day brain detox plan. That is unbelievable. And then she wrote a book called Who Switched Off My Brain? Controlling Toxic Thoughts and Emotions. All about quantum physics and the brain and neurophysiology. Scientifically validated. So I'm thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I need to take this even more serious. Then I started hanging out with a fellow chiropractor, Dr. Joe Dispenza, who has multiple books. Breaking the Habit of Being You is one of them. The other book is You Are the Placebo. Making your mind matter. So that was the final one where I go, what the flip am I doing every day to control my thoughts? So I started downloading apps that was like positive thinking. I was reading, you know, you know, I, I'm studying the good books. I was reading all these positive quotes that were uplifting out of the Bible. And I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm going to look for product. And I couldn't find product that I wanted. Um, there was some airy-fairy stuff, some, you know, left field stuff, but I wanted some scientifically valid stuff. So I started reading the books again, Dispenza, Dr. Carolyn Leaf, and I was taking out excerpts out of their books and I started speaking them over my life. And then I saw Tony Robbins had these morning power questions, these night power questions. I started reading these power questions and answering them. And I finally, I looked at my journal and I said, oh dude, that's pretty powerful. I started reading my journal over and over again. Then I go, you know what? I'm going to write, I'm going to write flashcards. So really, the whole premise of me creating Mind Mastery was knowing I needed seeds to succeed. I need to master my mind. I have some negative thoughts, the rubber band I keep breaking on my wrist. I'm not going to try to do it in a negative way. I'm just going to shove my brain full of positive affirmations all day long. And so I wrote out these cards. And I did it for myself. And I just started reading them out loud. Then I started my team huddles at my office. I said, pick a card, any card. And I said, read it over the team meeting. And all my team started loving them. And they go, hey, can I have a deck? So here I am making these small copies of these decks. Finally, all my friends. Then for Christmas, my mom wanted a set. So I'm like, oh, forget it. So I gave one to a good friend of mine. He goes, bro, I'm putting a website up. you got to mass produce these. And so next thing you know, here I got Mind Mastery cards. I have a, you know, a blue deck, which is more business. I have a spiritual deck. I just came out with my financial deck. And I just signed off yesterday on my health and physical fitness deck. Just because so many people struggle with health and fitness. I said, you know what? I just need positive affirmations to keep me on track and accountable on procrastination for my own health and fitness. So I just finished those up literally yesterday. So they're at print right now and I'll have four decks and you know, hopefully they'll get out to the entire world. I have the blue I've had the blue and red ones for a year. Just got the financial mastery deck. Been using those 
why why that deck of cards? Why financial mastery? The number one thing that I run into uh, in my world of business, whether it's coaching, chiropractors, personal development, uh, even at my church, man, there is such a scarcity mindset, a lot of fear around money. You know, a lot of people have theories. It was, you know, passed down from our parents, you know, who, who their parents went through the Great Depression and they started saying things like, oh, you know, money doesn't grow on tree. Would I look like an ATM? You know, all this negative stuff around money that I just realized financial fear is great. And if we can't speak financial abundance over our life, we'll never reprogram our brain. Every time that you have a fear mindset around money, you neurologically lay down another track of fear regarding money. So then how can you ever have breakthrough in your life financially if you have fear or scarcity mentality wrapped around it? But if you don't know how to change it, most people think like, I'll work harder. No, that doesn't change your mindset. You actually have to change your mindset by looking at money completely differently. And so you have to change your thought life and your thought life will change the fruit of what that is. And so if you want financial breakthrough and you keep losing money or you keep tripping over yourself or like every time you're about to make a deal happen, the deal explodes, it's a mindset. And we got to re-trigger that because what we don't know is subconsciously fear will creep, creep up at the final hour and it shuts down that deal. And we can't let fear dictate us having to follow through and break through. We got we to gotta trust the process. We got to conquer fear and watch financial abundance flow. And if you listen to people that are real financially wealthy, the way they talk about money is so epic. It's just a fact. And I love hanging out with billionaires or multi-multi-millionaires because they just talk so matter-of-factly. And these aren't people that came for money. These are people that worked for every dime. But their dream and their purpose was bigger than their problems, so they would just crush fear. I've bought the the red and blue for all my my partners, all my accountability group members, and same thing. I just purchased the financial mastery cards, and I absolutely love them. Uh, tell our audience about the process. How you suggest you use these cards every day? Yeah. So. It, it just really I, – I say this. You got to, one, have a good aha moment of where you're at. And if you want to find out where you're at, kind of do an inventory of who you hang out with or your friends. And just – if you go – like a great conversation I just had with somebody. One girl's like, yeah, all my girlfriends are such drama. <laughs> and my whole thought with this girl was, oh, every time I think of you, I think you're drama. And so – she was sitting here saying how all her friends are drama, but how can if you have all these friends that are drama, it not affect you? So inventory who you hang out with, it kind of gives you a good idea of where you're at. Number two is ask your friends, like on a scale of one to ten, do you think I'm negative or drama or you know what are kind of the things that I say? And take some honest feedback. It's really hard to do. No one likes surveying yourself. And let them be totally real with you so you can find out where you need to grow. I always say that. So if you give yourself on a scale of 1 to 10, you, you know, you're middle of the road negative or you're, maybe you're just not positive, which to me that's called neutral. And neutral is still a massive problem because if you're not a light shining the, bright for other, you know, the light for other people to see brightly, they'll never find their way. So neutral doesn't exist. You're either you're in a positive way or a negative way. So let's just say you're just not as positive you know you can be, but you're not a train wreck. Man, minimum, you read that card three times a day. If I'm having a crappy day, I pull one card every morning. I shove it in my pocket. Actually, now I got really smart. I can't believe my uh, little girl said, Dad, why don't you take a picture of it? So now, actually, I take a picture of it on my iPhone, and I try to look at that card multiple times. It, you know, if we all have our days, I just pull that thing out. It's almost like my statement of faith. I'm not going to let that negative thing creep in. I'm going to say it. And the biggest thing is you cannot read it silently. Because that's not how your brain lays down new tracks. You have to speak it so your ears can hear it, so your neurological brain can rewire it. If you just read it to yourself without audibly saying it, you don't rewire your brain. You're, you visually see it, but your body needs to hear your voice. So you have to use your motor neurons to move your lips and your tongue, your Aud your auditory neurons to lay down the track and your motor neurons or your, your receiving neurons for your ears to hear it, speak it, live it, talk it out. So the more that you get into it, the more you're embracing all your different senses while you do it. 
So minimum three times a day, morning, noon, and night minimum. I, I like the idea of taking a, a picture of them. You could thank your daughter for me because I, I – take the three cards in the morning, put them in my little planner and tote them around with me. So, so taking a picture is definitely easy for sure. Uh, talk a little bit about your new deck. I, I didn't know there was a new deck. What, what, what color are they going to be first off? <laughs> That's a surprise. Oh, shit. That's a surprise. Right, Actually, right. you know, it's so funny. I'm giving away a Fitbit for someone that guesses. So I'm trying to go way outside the box and I'm uh, releasing that ASAP. So oh, I okay. actually... Can I, I put this, my guess out? Can I put my Yeah, put your guess out. Put your guess out. Like a purplish color. Oh, dang it. <laughs> are you in my house, buddy? <laughs> no, but you are so funny. Maybe I'm sending you the Fitbit. No, um, please don't, but thank you. <laughs> the um, So anyways, yeah, the new one came out of I was sitting at a conference and someone said something about how they just set a goal every New Year's. This happened over Christmas. Every New Year's they set a goal to get fit and lose weight, but something gets sidetracked and it's just not on the, the you know, business is more important or family's more important. And I went through this whole thing and I was asking them the question, if you lose your health, what do you have? And that person looked at me and goes, I guess I have nothing. I said, yeah, all the money in the world. See, Steve Jobs had all the money in the world, but he drove himself so hard, his body shut down and he's no money couldn't save his life. And I had the revelation, man, it, my business cards, that's cool. My financial cards, that's cool. But what's the most important? No, your health is your greatest wealth. What the heck am I thinking? I should have started with that deck. That's my wheelhouse. And we got to speak life that my body was meant to heal. I was designed for a purpose. Every cell, muscle, organ, and tissue is designed to recalibrate and keep me on purpose. And so I know this. When I work out, I feel better. I have more energy. I want to go for a run. It brings oxygenation to my body. And guess what? I'll get more done. I'm more productive. I have better clarity. My sex drives better. All these things. But yet, why am I doing reading these other – you know what? Oh, my gosh. I need a health and wellness deck. And so they're just declarations how I'm going to be in the best shape of my life this age, how I'm, I'm going to wake up with more energy than I've ever had. I'm going to sleep better than I've ever slept. My life is a purpose, and I'm on fire. Every cell is vibrating at the highest frequency at cellular healing. Now, each, each card has three affirmations that, that – do they, do they just flow out of your mind that freely or did that must take a lot of effort to come up with all these affirmations? You know, they did. Here's what I've learned. Like a toilet that's clogged, we are programmed by the world we surround ourselves in. That's what I learned. When I just started getting in the mode of positive thinking and thought flow, I, I swear to you, now they come out like – water out of a hose i'm telling you they my wife the other day we were we were joking around we do this little lyrical like i'm gonna be the greatest white rapper ever not but around the table I, we try to rhyme and do these little lyrical mix mine are always so positive but she goes are you serious that was the funniest most positive thing i've ever heard you say i'm like oh man i should just start rapping positivities but um spoken word positive spoken word but um yeah they just flow now and it's because we speak who we are, and I have transformed and literally rewired my brain. I've taken every one of these books as serious as a heart attack, and I speak life over every situation. I even I heard this thing by Joel Osteen. He was saying that um, this one guy asked him this question, and really, he was pinned in a corner, but he would not say no no matter what. He goes, yes and yes. And it's because Joel Osteen said he didn't want – that negative mindset to enter. So there is no room for him to even allow that possibility. That's where his mindset is. You know, it's no wonder he has the greatest year ever. So, yeah. So what's, uh, what can we expect in the future for mind mastery cards? Well, man, you're reading my mail this morning. I wasn't going to let all these cats out of the bag. You, you don't uh, have to. No, no, it's not even that big a deal. It's just funny because I'm on this just this tilt right now of of what are some great things. So I did this um, an an app. It's an audio app, and it is going to have all the mind mastery cards in there. 
and then you can you can speak into it and it will record your own voice reading the declaration so you can hear your own voice not hear my voice i i i love that way back when when i first started practice i um i video uh, audio taped on this old recorder uh, some of larry marks and stuff and listen it to listened it to it in my own voice and it was more powerful definitely in my voice than his as great as larry is so i think that's a wonderful idea i'm looking forward to that app for sure for sure um what else what else what else what else if, we, if, if you were to leave the audience with a few thoughts um, what would you leave them with? Oh, a few thoughts. Well, um, if you really, well, if you really believe, everyone talks about the mind body connection all the time. And if we really start to understand and, and we like take it literally, the link between our thoughts and our bodies, you can actually speak life over yourself and people get healed. Now, that might be such a far stretch for people, but when you start reading some of these books I've already referenced a couple times, you start to realize that that is the way. Like, if you broke your arm, it, we know for a matter of fact an MD might put a cast on there, but the MD doesn't heal that arm. We know that our body heals itself, okay? We don't even have to say anything, and we pretty much does it. But when we are thinking at a different level, like, no, no, no. If we are negative all the time, we will actually manifest sickness in our own life. Don't you think it should be a full-time job watching what comes out of our mouth? And I just think it's so funny. People will just let stuff fly. Like, yeah, my wife's such a blankety blank. Well, your wife is a product of your husbandry. So if you think she's a blankety blank, it's because you're speaking that over her. But if you want your wife to be a princess, even if you don't believe it, then you better start speaking her that, man, my baby's a princess. If you want the greatest kids in the world, you better speak over them like, baby, you're the greatest girl in the world. Daddy's so proud of you. I just realized that what I speak over my kids is what she'll become. And I think that we've never really studied that enough, and we wonder why so many kids are so screwed up. No, you can't do that. You can't have that. You'll never be this. You'll never be that. Who says that? People that don't understand that our mindset is a product of our preachers, teachers, uh, parenting, all that stuff. We're products right now. And if you don't like the fruit that you have in your life and if you don't have financial breakthrough and you don't have health in your life, it's a product of what your thinking has been up until this point. Now, the good news and the revelation we need to have is it can change in a moment if you allow it and you believe it. And belief changes by what you feed on. So if you are having a problem believing anything I'm saying today, then you need to go to the references that back this up scientifically with validation to re-change your belief. Because your belief system is exactly what I just told you. Your beliefs are designed of what you've been raised as. Now it's time to change your beliefs and get on with the truth. Because the truth trumps fact every time. Meaning the fact was the world was flat. And then someone went out and discovered the truth. Truth will always trump fact. So the fact was you may have not known you control your destiny by what the thoughts you produce are. But now know the truth. The science validates the truth. And you are a product of what you believe. So if you don't like where you're at, you better make it a full-time job to change your thought life so then you live a different outcome. That's, that's beautiful. Now, if someone was in the San Diego area, how can they find your office? Oh, man. I have a Batman sign that swings out. It's not that cloudy that often, but if you look up, you'll see a Batman signal. Just follow that signal. Or you can Google <laughs> True Chiropractic. And uh, True Chiropractic, we're right in the heart of San Diego. Uh, we have an office up in Encinitas. I'm about to open up four more. So we'll be around. We try to make a mark in San Diego. And... Um, Man, I'd love to meet anybody that's listening on this podcast, and I'm stoked that you're doing this, and I hope it reaches 500,000. I hope so. It will reach 500,000 at some point for sure. Now, what about Mind Mastery Cards? How can they get them? Yeah, that'd be great, man. MindMasteryCards.com, and uh, the new deck will be out there. And and listen, man, I'll even uh, send something up. You, you send me the details. You can put the announcement on a coupon code for all your people. Great. I will definitely, definitely do that. 
Thank you, Dr. Matt, for your time. I really, really appreciate it. Any last words? Man, make 2016 the greatest year of your life. Speak it out and live it out. And appreciate you having me. Thanks so much. Excellent. My name is Dr. Noah DeCoyer, your host, and you are listening to Beyond Your Wildest Genes podcast. If you like what you've heard today, please share this with your friends and family on iTunes and encourage them to subscribe. You can sign up for our incredible weekly email at www.centerforepigeneticexpression.com. And please let me encourage you to check out our first project at www.painreliefproject.com. Thank you. And as my oldest son Hayden says, be awesome and never unawesome.